dun 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 Jayla's beauty room oh my god guys you guys are probably judging me right now I don't know like all my traveling and just life and meetings my room has just became a catastrophe so today I am going to clean it out I need to see what's in my closet what clothes I have what do I want to keep what do I want to sell this video is sponsored by Poshmark so I'll be talking about the app that I'll be selling my clothes on a little bit later but let's try to figure out this madness first and Harlem leave me alone I'm trying to clean Harlem. <laughs> All right, guys, I am making progress. I'm going to clean off this table. And then this is step one of the floor, like being clean. When I wake up in the morning, morning, I'm going to start folding these clothes. But this is the first step. This room is going to be completely different. So I just need to like organize all my things, favorite pieces in my closet, all of that. So last thing for right now is this. <sighs> Let's go. This is my progress. Change the room around a little bit. Still not the way I like it. I need to get new shelving for this. I just want it to be all shoes. Your girl is tired. <laughs> But our desk is clean for work. PR packages I need to open. All right, guys, we are at my closet. I've been trying to get like my beauty room together. This video is sponsored by Poshmark, so I'm going to be talking about them. But my closet is like the best it has ever looked. It's color coordinated. I have my jeans up here. The colors right here. The black and white. My purse is lined up. Just It's all together. And I'm super excited. I had to do this part first. And then from this part of everything being lined up, I could pick out some pieces and say, hmm, you know, have I worn this piece in my closet? Which I haven't. Have I wore this piece? Do I want to sell it? Poshmark is an amazing app that allows you to make a little extra cash. It's the summertime. Yeah, you know you got some clothes in your closet that you're not really wearing. However, I really like this. I don't know if I can let this go. That's my biggest problem. I'm like, I don't know if I can let it go. So something easy. You can take a picture of your pieces like this. Or you can actually put them on, take your picture, list them on the app, and you know, see if someone wants your pieces. I tend to have a lot of like glam pieces, so my pieces go super fast on Poshmark. And I, I've had Poshmark since I was like in high school, and I have a few followers on there. I think I got like almost 10,000 followers. 
Mm -hmm. If you're interested in any of the pieces in my closet, make sure you click the link in the description box so you can see the pieces that I listed on my Poshmark Glamaholic 54. Um, so that is like what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Going through the pieces now that my closet is organized, color coordinated, and listing some stuff on Poshmark for you guys. Like I have stuff with tags still on. It's ridiculous. It's no reason a female should have this many clothes and we're doing a detox. closet organization closet clear out has got me tired I've been trying to get my home and my wardrobe and everything together I'm super excited because I know every single thing in my closet before I would like go through things not really knowing what's in there but now I've gotten rid of all the stuff that I just was holding on to that wasn't really my style anymore or I didn't wear in like two years like out of here gone and I'm super excited so my friend Najee helped me color coordinate my closet um, got one more closet to do but that's not a lot of stuff just organization I have another uh, like walk-in closet and then my friend Trey that I've known since high school um, he moved to New York which is exciting and he's a designer so we were doing some brainstorming on my style just pieces that I've had where I want my style to go like what what is it that Jayla loves and I think we came up we came up with like the most perfect style for me I think it fits me I I just feel like over the years I've tried basically everything I've tried the trends some that I like more than others because I really like tropical pieces <laughs> I've always loved tropical pieces. Uh, I like it, but I don't feel like it goes with like my literal style. I feel like on vacation they're perfect. So a lot of times I buy tropical pieces. I'm like, oh, I can wear this on vacation, but on an everyday I'm not on vacation, you know. So just all of that. I think you guys are gonna really like my style revamp that I'm bringing to you guys. Make sure you follow me on um, Instagram, jlacoryam, because you know I'm gonna be taking my pictures, and y'all gonna see, and y'all can see like where I'm going with it. So that's why I did the whole closet clear out. Um, in addition, I've still been waiting for this coffee table that's supposed to be right here that is still not anywhere to be found on back order. So I kind of was on pause because I want to get the coffee table in this living room before I like moved on or added anything because I didn't want it to be too much. I didn't want to get the bar cart to be over there and like it just not look right, you know? So, um, so yeah, I just feel like I'm gonna go ahead and call right after this video and cancel that coffee table now I gotta find another one. Ugh, my head hurts. But I like the way my living room and my house is coming. Um, everything's coming together. Everything is getting organized. I'm super excited. I have some stuff in the works for you guys. I really feel like 2019 is like a transitioning point. So when I graduated from college, I feel like I took the last two years to one, find myself, live life, and explore. I've, I've traveled. I've met people. Um, everything. Like I feel like the past two years was personal growth for Jayla like personally um personally I've been through so much just with I feel like you know I as an entrepreneur I work every single day it's not a day that I am not working um even when I travel I'm working I'm vlogging and although it looks really glamorous um the business part of it is not glamorous you know i literally every single day when i record when i put something out for you guys i'm recording my life and i have to watch my life over again to edit it in real time to cut it down to the time that i have for you guys and like take out the boring parts and stuff and produce something for you and you know for me i'm always trying to grow 
I actually like editing. Editing is something that I'm actually passionate about. So like when I put something out to you guys, like if I'm not feeling confident about it or I didn't like something about it, I always want to reshoot. And you know, I'm my own production company basically. I have a whole show on YouTube of my life and um, it's hard. It's hard. So management stuff, uh, taxes stuff, bookkeeping stuff, like there's so much that goes into it outside emails answer emails brand deals outside of just like producing content for you guys so um i have been like in the works on the back end with a lot of things i have some things coming up that i really think you guys are going to be excited about and i just feel like i'm at a weird spot i'm at a weird spot and let me tell you why i'm at a weird spot. i'm at a weird spot because you know when you're talking to god and you're asking for these things you don't realize how difficult the things that you're asking for really is like people pray and it's like oh you know can i be more successful can i make more money but with all of those things comes like the responsibility of making more money or going to this new height that you're trying to go to and at every level in life i just feel like it's hard each level that you go to is hard it was hard to get to the level that I'm at now. Now I'm trying to get to another level and I just found that no matter who you are, what you're doing, you you be having roadblocks. Like roadblocks come in, it builds character, it makes you who you are. And you know, I just feel like I've been fighting. Like I'm in New York fighting for everything that I want, everything that I want in life. And I know people can relate to that. Even the dream of moving to New York. I moved to New York alone nobody I didn't have not a soul I didn't have no family no nothing nobody wanted to support me nobody wanted to hang out with me I didn't have friends like that um I just moved here and I was like you know what this is what I want to do this is where I want to be I know the future I was just always thinking about the future and it's been you know not the easiest road so I think that what I got cooking up is is it i think you guys gonna like it not even think y'all gonna like it period <laughs> y'all gonna like it my dog is like whenever i play harlem no baby gonna throw socks and stuff <laughs> Hi. hi baby hi i just really wanted to come and sit and talk to you guys like life is not always peaches and cream i work very hard for like the shit that i have and where i'm at and i'm very grateful for the people in my life that you know have been sticking with me you guys that have been sticking with me that support me that want you know the best for me it just means so much um it's just sometimes kind of hard balancing like this is real life shit like this is real life shit that i'm trying to like deals don't go good everything that you want don't actually work out hold on <laughs> That's really dope. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, well, I'll be, I'm about to hit, hit the stores. All right, bye. All right, bye. Even today, I have an event to go to, and, um, you know, I said I'm working with someone, so he's going to try to find my accessories that go with my outfit, but then he still has to come here, and he has to, uh, um, the outfit, I need it to be, like, altered a little bit, so he's about to do that. I'm about to you know handle the stuff yeah, i got to do my makeup and my hair and stuff because i'm not wearing this hair girl i'm wearing some different hair just all of that i'm really excited for the future i'm just like um you know it's hard the next level is hard whatever level you're on <laughs> getting to the next one is not easy y'all okay it's not easy and um i'm just excited because i know it's a light at the end of the tunnel and this shit about to be it. So guys, I know I didn't say much of anything about what's going on, but I just want to let you know I have some stuff cooking up and you know, everything that I'm doing now of like, you know, making sure my home is good, making sure my clothing is like sorted through and organized is just for like preparing for what's coming. So with that being said, make sure you guys click the link in the description box so you can check out my Poshmark and the things that I listed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And you guys will see like what my what I changed my hair to, my outfit and all of that, and what I'm doing today. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.